Hi, I'm Thomas Kopek and I would like to tell you about Open Focus. I believe it's a very interesting idea which has many practical applications. I'm a family doctor and I use Open Focus approach to reduce my patients' physical pain with very good results. I also believe Open Focus connects many dots in our understanding about human nature and the world around us. So, in this presentation, I would like to introduce you to Open Focus, and I hope you will like it. So, let's start. The Open Focus theory is about attention styles. The common understanding of attention is when we say we focus on something. There is me and another object I'm paying attention to. In the same way, you are watching this presentation now, paying attention to what I'm saying. According to Open Focus theory, Paying attention or focusing on something is only one of four styles of attention and the typical outcome of this one is high energy consumption. If this presentation lasts too long, you would probably look like these people. Another well-known and well-recognizable style of attention happens when we enjoy ourselves, for example watching a sport event. This style of attention is easy for us and we can watch sport or a good film or with a good book for a long time without feeling tired. A typical feature of this style of attention is time distortion, such as not believing the film lasted so long as we leave the cinema. Another typical feature of this style is immersing. When we experience this style of attention, we feel immersed with something or someone. For example, when I read a good book or watch a good film, I feel for the main character. I'm angry with him, I'm happy with him, I fight with him or I feel unsettled when something wrong is happening to him. We say we lose ourselves in the main character and for the time of watching or reading we feel connected with him or her. This is how it can be presented. The black dot in the middle indicates me and another black dot symbolizes something outside of me. The grey area between dots symbolizes a connection between us. This style of attention brings pleasure and this is how we recognize that the book or film is good because we can easily immerse in it. The style of attention when we feel separated from something or someone can be presented in this way. There is me, the black dot in the middle and the object outside of me which I attend. There are two separated objects. Therefore, this style of attention is called objective. Dr. Lester Fermi, the author on Open Focus Theory, is a scientist who has been working with his five-channel EEG biofeedback machine of his own design for almost 40 years. He trained himself on this machine and noticed changes in his attention preferences. He described style of attention together with what is happening in the brain when various attention styles are applied. According to him, in objective style of attention, there is asynchronous situation in the brain. For example, when I'm looking at the picture, analyzing the quality of it, the visual area of my brain is in asynchrony with the rest of the brain, which I indicated on this graph as a thick black line. It is a very simplified description of what, according to Dr. Femi, is happening in the brain, but is useful for the purpose of this presentation. This style of attention is used to learn new things during office work, when we analyze a new situation or when we make decisions. Also, the flight and fight response is based on this style of attention as we can feel threatened or stressed when we are close to a separated from us danger. According to Dr. Femi, when we are immersed there is a synchrony in the brain, which I indicated in this graph as a wavy lines. When this style of attention happens, we lose ourselves, for example, watching a good film, socializing with good friends, doing something which we are passionate about. I believe that the whole entertainment industry is based on this style of attention. People are ready to pay a lot of money to help them trigger this style. To summarize this part, Open Focus Theory classifies narrow immersed attention style, where we feel connected or in synchrony, and narrow objective attention style, 
when we feel separated. Both of them are narrow because we feel connected or separated with one object or person or one source of stimuli at the time. Now, what about this situation? There is an observer, symbolized by the black dot in the middle, who attends all possible stimuli at the same time and feels separated from them. I will give you an example to understand it better. I sometimes go with my family to a big shopping mall which consists of a very big hall with three levels of galleries around it. There are thousands of people visiting it every weekend. I leave my family enjoying ice creams or coffee and I stand on the second gallery facing the opposite one. I am diffusing my attention by becoming aware of both my hands at the same time. My eyes are opened and I become aware of my full vision field. Once it happens, I am able to see all people in front of me at the same time. I see a man walking on the left and a woman with the buggy on the right. I simultaneously become aware of all sounds coming from all directions. I can hear music from shops and people talking behind me at the same time. I also feel gentle trembling of the structure of gallery and I feel my whole body gently trembling with it. I can also smell coffee from the coffee bar behind me, all at the same time. I must say, it's a very nice experience, mainly because my internal chatter stops. As long as I'm in this style of attention, it becomes quiet in my, in my head, completely quiet. This is a typical feature of this style, quieting down the internal processing. You can try it now by closing your eyes and feeling both your hands at the same time. I will tell you how. Close your eyes first, put your hands on your knees, then feel your right hand only, right hand. Okay, and now feel your left hand. Now feel both hands at the same time. And I will tell you how to do that. Find the middle point in the space between your hands and then gently open your focus towards both your hands at the same time. And you will feel them. Feel your hands. Good. You have just diffused your attention. Now feel your hands and notice how quiet it is. Now, to feel how it affects your internal processing, try to recall what you were doing two evenings ago. Feel your both hands at the same time and try to recall anything. Good. Now, still feeling your hands, slowly open your eyes. Feel your hands and slowly open your eyes. Notice that you are aware of all your vision field. You are in diffuse attention style. So simple. You can practice that as long as you like. But what you will notice is that diffuse objective style of attention cannot be done for long as it requires a constant supply of energy. It is because, according to Dr. Femi, there is asynchronous situation in the brain. I'm attending all the stimuli around me, which means there is a separation between me and them. And this is how the situation in the brain roughly looks like. Many areas of the brain are activated at the same time. They are in synchrony between themselves, but they are out of sync with the rest of the brain. This style of attention uh, I had during my mole experience Another example is when someone learns how to play instruments or someone is the part of orchestra. Also some sport players use this style of attention. Okay, and the last attention style, it is easy to guess now. It's called, it's called diffused immersed because I attend all possible stimuli at the same time, feeling immersed, connected with them, losing myself completely. There is a synchrony within the whole brain. It feels like deep relaxation but not sleep. There is a feeling of oneness with the world. There is a time distortion because there is immersing and there is no internal chatter because it's diffusing. 
This style of attention can be detected by Dr. Femi's 5-channel EEG biofeedback machine and this is what is practiced during open focus training. According to Dr. Femi, everyone has a moment of realization of how synchrony the brain feels like. One of his main discoveries is that the whole brain slows down and goes into sync in alpha frequency when one is asked to attend space, the space which is between objects and permeates them. This is because there is nothing for the brain to process in the space. Space has no color, smell, taste or sound. All areas of the brain have nothing to do when space is attended. The brain can slow down and go into sync. It may be hard for you to imagine how it, how it is to be in diffuse immersed attention style because it's complete opposite from what you are doing now listening to this presentation. I chose the picture of meditators because I think it is the closest association. Good. Now, as you can see, in our culture these two attention styles are the most recognizable and used. We consider narrow objective style as desirable and we respect people who are able to stay in this style for many hours like doctors, engineers, lawyers, because we know it requires a lot of effort. On the other hand, narrow immersed style is full of joy and comes naturally always when you let go and relax. Our culture promotes balancing these two attention styles. People are willing to work hard in order to afford playing hard. Open focus theory describes four styles of attention and promotes balance between all of them. Because according to Dr. Femi, all attention styles are useful and accessible for all of us.